Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Girl. I think probably the, the, the biggest thing that, that producers probably don't do enough of is clean their tank on a regular basis and clean their sprayer out on a regular basis. Not just the tank, clean the plumbing out, uh, make sure that they have caps off the ends of their booms because it's not like we have one great big long boom anymore. We have several boom sections uh, on uh, large sprayers, most of them not much longer than 10 or 12 feet. Um, and we have all these rubber hoses that are all coming in and connecting all those multiple sections that are along the length of a, uh, a modern sprayer boom. So you've got all these areas where things can hang up within the sprayer and sometimes it's the nozzles and the, fil the filters or, or screens in the nozzles. Sometimes it's the main nozzle or main uh, screens in the plumbing of the sprayer and other times it's um, herbicide that remains hung up in the ends of those those boom sections where there's no real good physical drain and I think the fact that producers uh, think that well I'm not changing chemicals so I don't really need to clean my sprayer out I think that's a common misconception I think any time that you actually shut your sprayer down for for any amount of time uh, so if you have to turn the power plant off on your sprayer you need to clean your sprayer out uh, what you need to clean it out with depends on the products that you're using um, with group twos uh, other than uh, things in what we refer to as IMI type products or things like Odyssey and Pursuit and Ares and, and basically the group twos that are produced by BASF. Uh, those ones just need a water rinse um, but anything that has a sulfonylurea, so the expresses and even the prepasses, um, uh, so anything that uh, is a non-IMI group 2, uh, f uh, ammonia, any th uh, cleaner with ammonia in it is required. And the reason that the ammonia is there is to increase the pH of the cleaning solution. And the reason we increase, increase the pH of the cleaning solution is that those products are much more soluble in a high pH solution than they are in an acid solution. And most herbicide solutions, when they're applied to the crop, are in a are weak acid. And so what we want to do to make those things more soluble that may have gotten deposited in that sprayer is raise that pH up. It makes those things much more soluble and so that they get cleaned out of the sprayer more easily. Every once in a while what we have is a combination of those group 2 products with another product that may be causing an oily film deposit in the, in the sprayer as well. And uh, to deal with those uh, components, say whether um, I think producers don't really realize that even glyphosates these days have kind of an oil based adjuvant in them, and so they don't clean out as easily with water as the old formulations used to. So a little bit of detergent in the sprayer to clean out those, er, those oily based uh, either adjuvant systems or, um, or products themselves uh, goes a long way to breaking down that oily film that might be trapping some of that group two uh, in the sprayer as well. So the combination of the ammonia to increase the solubility of the group two and the detergent to break up that oily layer in the in the sprayer that might be trapping some of those group twos is, is a really good formula for getting your tank super spick and span clean. Mm -hmm.